Hi, I'm Christian. Today's word for the day passage is Psalms 10. The heading for this chapter in the Amplified Translation of the Bible is a prayer for the overthrow of the wicked. In preparation for delivering this devotional, I was focused on that heading, and immediately my mind started building a list of examples of wickedness on display at this current time. The list grew long quickly, and while thinking through them, I grew increasingly frustrated that I had so many examples of wickedness to to pull from. You don't have to look far to see reprehensible things in our society. However, I don't want to have you start your day meditating on the evils in our world, so I'd like to focus on another part of this. When I read through Psalms, I'm impressed with David's ability to be so descriptive in his songs and prayers. He expresses his feelings so vividly in both his highs and lows. He writes about God's greatness and the beauty of his creation, as well as his darkest fears and concerns for those who want to harm him. I enjoyed Pastor Robert's message this last weekend. One of the things he encouraged us to put into practice this year is daily prayer. He pointed out how all relationships benefit from frequent open dialogue, and our relationship with God is no different. However, many of us feel inadequate when we pray. We hear preachers praying from the pulpit and we compare ourselves to them. Or like me, we look at David and think, I can't express myself like he does. I wanna encourage you not to fall into this comparison trap or the temptation to try to emulate someone else's praying style. When you speak to your loved ones, you wanna hear from their heart. You wouldn't get to know them at all if all they did was quote movie lines or lyrics from their favorite songs whenever you spoke with them. God wants to hear from you. He loves you, and he wants you to come to him openly, honestly. He wants to hear from your heart. So pray, speak to your heavenly father, and share your concerns with him. Thank him for the blessings that he's given to you. Acknowledge the beautiful things in his creation that you appreciate. And as for the overthrow of the wicked, the last three verses of chapter 10 say this, beginning at verse 16. The Lord is king forever and ever. The godless nations will vanish from the land. Lord, you know the hopes of the helpless. Surely you will hear their cries and comfort them. You will bring justice to the orphans and the oppressed, so mere people can no longer terrify them. As Nikki Gumbel says in the Bible in a Year study, one thing that you can be sure about is that on the last day, when all is revealed, you will see God's perfect judgment. Knowing that God will judge justly allows you to be free to follow God's commandment to love our enemies. I hope that blesses you, Calvary. Have a great day.